First of all, I want to say congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. A heck of a game last night. Well deserved. And congrats to Andy Reid for picking up that first Super Bowl. But today, I want to talk about the San Francisco 49ers. The San Francisco 49ers, who I still thought was the team to beat in this Super Bowl. I wanted to see how they were going to match up against that Kansas City offense. I think they played really well. I think that defense did a very good job of containing Patrick Mahomes. We've seen that one deep ball later in the game that they did give up. But for the most part, they contained the big plays. The problem did come down to, though, they struggled to stop the running game. For one of the first times, it seemed like in a long time, Kansas City established that run game and they did it very effectively against the San Francisco defense which brings up my biggest concern with this game and I want to say I, I was a big believer in saying Shanahan should have been coach of the year this year and then I watched this game get coached I guess but I, I don't understand how you get the ball back with two minutes left in half before halftime you have a chance to go down the field and score not only go down the field and score two minutes left you have the chance to get the ball back in the second half score again and make this a two possession game you are playing the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the most prolific offenses in the NFL, the pro most prolific offense in the NFL this season. I understand your defense is great. I have full faith in them stopping Patrick Mahomes as well. But why would you just say, we have so much confidence in his defense. We're just going to challenge them to score on us. The game was tied. You had a chance to go down the field two minutes, a minute, a minute and a half to two timeouts really is what they would have had. Could have scored a touchdown. Could have at the very least gotten field goal range, made it th a 13 to 10 game going into halftime. You do not go into halftime and say, oh, I'm happy that the game's 10 to 10. In the Super Bowl, that was the difference in this game. We've seen the coaching make a huge difference. It was Andy Reid saying, we're going for it, fourth and short. We're going for it, fourth and short. Granted, they got stopped the one time. It resulted in a touchdown in the other one, did it not? It's pretty big when you're playing a team like Kansas City where you know dang well you got to score points. Patrick Moses come back from behind multiple times in the playoffs. Again, I can't reiterate how much how great I think the San Francisco pass defense is, but we just said it too. Something Kansas City did in this game was establish the run game. Something, hey, dude, we have not seen them do much. And there was a hole in that San Francisco defense a lot in that run game, which meant they had more ways to beat you than that passing game, which meant you needed to put more points on the board. You go into the second half, you see these guys go down the field, and again, they did put points on the board. The, well, there's a field goal, right? The field goal, they could have went for it on fourth and two. Again, I think Andy Reid goes for it there. The 49ers choose not to. It's great to get those points on the board, absolutely. But it's it's huge when you consider that could have been a seven point. You know, and they go for it, they score the touchdown. That could have been seven. Or more importantly, here, what you start to look at is the fact that oh, it was ten to ten at halftime. What if they kick that field goal at halftime? They get in field goal range. It's thirteen ten. Now you get the ball in the second half, you kick that field goal, it's 16-10. Now you score that touchdown, you consider going for two, and it's 24-10. You know what the score was? When Kansas City gave the ball back to the 49ers in the fourth quarter, 24-20. Which means the game would have been tied. Hypothetically speaking, it's a completely different game. Or hypothetically speaking, even if it wasn't tied, it's 24-23, and you have a chance to go down the field and kick that field goal for the game winner or whatever you have to do with time on the clock. It's a different game plan you have to run though when you needed that touchdown, and Kansas City knew it, and I, I get it. I, Jimmy G missed some passes in that second half. There's no doubt about it. That was a terrible decision to just throw that dead duck as an interception in the first quarter, but I think a lot of us expected that. You know, This wasn't Patrick Mahomes. This was Jimmy Garoppolo. He's a good quarterback, but you didn't expect him to have a perfect game out there. You expected that run game to be good. The run game, by the way, if there was one other thing I had a problem with out of this Kansas City game, why were you running the ball, or not running the ball, why were you passing the ball on second and five trying to kill clock? Fourth quarter, five minutes left, passing the ball. I, I don't get it. You was gashing every single team all playoffs with the run game. So they go for the pass on second down. So not only do they stop the clock, but they don't pick up the first down. They end up giving the ball back to Kansas City and blowing the game, right? I, I, I don't understand the play call in there. You can say what you want about some of the questionable penalties that didn't get thrown. Again, the Jimmy Garoppolo mistakes are going to happen, but you have to position yourself to understand those mistakes will happen. Mahomes made mistakes. Mahomes threw the ball to the other team a couple of times, but they positioned themselves better than I think the 49ers did here. You had to understand you needed to get as big of a lead as possible on these Kansas City Chiefs to win this game. I think you get up 14 as a Chiefs. I don't think Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs stop a win. I really don't. I think this defense really flourishes once you force them to pass that ball every single time as crazy as that sounds against Patrick Mahomes but the play calling it just it wasn't there the con the conservativeness early and then the the idea to get aggressive when you wanted to kill them I don't know I, I don't agree with it I think that was 
I think that was the biggest issue here for the 49ers who played a very good football game. Both teams did. Don't let that discredit the Chiefs. They played well. They deserved it. Congrats to them again to those Kansas City Chiefs.